Welcome to A Course in Business Miracles. This is Heather Dominic, creator of businessmiracles.com and founder and leader of the highly sensitive entrepreneur movement. Join me today for some genuine practical assistance and a business altering and life changing experience. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number 74 thriving. Listen in to learn why it's important for you to know that the possibilities you feel for your business are real and the struggles you've been having and trying to bring them into fruition are not a personal failure. Learning how to thrive using your highly sensitive nature from a place of strength is the single most important shift every highly sensitive who's called to be self-employed can make. Want to know a secret? It's actually why you've been called to be self-employed in the first place. That's right. Everyone, welcome. It's my honor to serve you today. My new year invitation for you, be all in with this class. Listen to my words. Allow my energy to join with your energy. How do you choose to show up for this class? If your choice is to be here, then I ask for your permission to allow me to lead during our time together. And I invite you to stay in class until the end. Together, let's all take a deep breath in. Deep breath and let it out. Tap on your heart three times. Tap on your third eye three times. Tap the top of your head three times. And now just pull on one of your ears, opening your heart, intuition, connection with the divine, and allowing yourself to hear and receive exactly what you are meant to. Now more than ever, HSEs are needed from a place of strength rather than shadow. Write that down. According to Daniel Pink, researcher and author of the book, A Whole New Mind, we are moving from an economy and a society built on the logical, linear, computer-like capabilities of the information age to an economy and a society built on the inventive, empathic, visionary capabilities of what's rising in its place, the conceptual age. Leadership is about empathy. It's about having the ability to relate and to connect with people for the purpose of inspiring and empowering their lives. The time of the highly sensitive entrepreneur is now. However, as HSEs, most of us were not taught how to use our sensitive abilities as a positive force of creation in our lives. Instead, we unconsciously learned how to barely cope in order to just get by in an overwhelming world that is not designed for us and to continue to hide our sensitivity as a dirty little secret. Convinced if we're found out, we'll be shamed. Can you think of a moment when you were criticized for being different or told to stop being so sensitive? Well, as a result, I've identified in my work what I refer to as three HSE coping mechanisms. You'll want to write these down. Hiding. Pushing. Combo plattering. Let me say a little bit more. Pushing. You'll get done what non-highly sensitives get done, but it will come at a high cost, often in the form of a health or relationship crisis. Hiding. You're an expert at finding anything and everything to do, typically as a martyr for others, than what is needed to move your business forward. Combo plattering, 
you jump back and forth between hiding and pushing. This is my definition of HSE insanity. A lot of effort exerted, not going very far. Which of these coping mechanisms do you resonate with the most? All three coping mechanisms are part of what I teach as the HSE coping cycle, a constant cycle of fear, lack of safety, coping, soothing, recovering. Again, all is an attempt to cope with the anxiety of being highly sensitive in a world that is not designed for us. A major anxiety producer, being self-employed. You must move beyond coping into learning how to manage your energy as an HSE, which gives you access to your HSE strengths, such as intuition, empathy, deep listening, deep feeling, deep thinking, being aware of subtleties in environments, sights, smells, sounds, being excellent with language, being spiritual by nature, and more. This teaching alone has created so much positive change for so many HSEs, but one who particularly comes to mind in this moment is Karen, who's an HSE dentist and, in the past, defaulted to hiding. She and her husband have owned a successful dental practice for years. But Karen often kept herself more hidden in order to manage the stress of dentistry. Through our mentoring and her use of the tools I've designed and teach, she has brought her HSE strength of empathy forward, particularly in the selling process, allowing her to genuinely address her patient's needs and, as a result, increasing her income by 50% over the last 12 months. Whether you are A, a highly sensitive person who feels the call to be self-employed, but you have no idea what to offer as a business, or B, you're an HSE who already has a business and you've tried just about everything to get this business to work for you, or C, you're already a highly successful business owner who's recently discovered you're highly sensitive and now realize why all of your efforts, though successful, have felt disjointed, if not downright exhausting. Which HSE category are you? Whether you're A, B, or C, you're in the right place. And you're in the only place that has been so deeply and consciously designed from both a program structure and curriculum perspective to teach you how to be successfully self-employed as a person who's highly sensitive. And you'll see why by staying with me until the end of this class. Everything I teach and mentor on comes from my own experience of being self-employed since 2003. This ranges from my degrees in psychology and education to my coaching certifications, as well as the numerous in-person trainings I've attended with leaders such as Marianne Williamson, Sharon Salzberg, Wayne Dyer, Carolyn Miss, Sark, Gabrielle Roth, Allie Brown, Dan Sullivan, Martha Beck, Doreen Virtue, T. Harvecker, Dr. Elaine Aaron, Dr. Harville Hendricks, and Dr. Helen LaKelly Hunt, Deepak Chopra, Janine Roth, Tara Brock, and more. All to support developing teachings that serve you as an HSE to create more peace and prosperity for yourself. Not only did I start my business under personal bankruptcy, but I nearly lost everything I built when I brought my business across the million dollar mark for the first time and found myself devastatingly overworked, overexhausted, and massively overwhelmed, which led me to learn I am highly sensitive. And the HSE movement was born almost a decade ago. And at that time, no one, no one else was talking about this on the internet or anywhere for that matter. I was even told not to use the words highly sensitive in my marketing because either no one would get it or would be repelled by it. Yet I knew in my heart that this was my mission. 
Since that day, I've continued to create my own great body of work based on research that pulls from psychology, sociology, neuroscience, spirituality, coaching techniques, and more in order to continuously serve the evolution and growth of the HSE members of the Business Miracles community. This is not a quick fix or a paint-by-numbers formula. Write that down. The work we do in Business Miracles is an inner and outer approach, a full retraining about how you see and manage your highly sensitive self, your business, and overall what it means to be in business. It's where the name Business Miracles was born from. I was introduced to the psychological and spiritual curriculum, A Course in Miracles, after my mother died in a bicycle accident when I was 14 years old. According to A Course in Miracles, the definition of a miracle is a shift in perception. Write that down. That's what's needed for us HSEs. We must be willing to do it differently. Here at Business Miracles, we're open to all spiritual practices and religions, but at the heart of what I teach is the willingness to engage in the process of shifting your perception. I know I really can't speak about this without one particular HSE coming to mind, Celeste, who is a wellness educator and in just the last three months has been diving really deep into one of the self-study resources I provide in all of my mentoring programs called the Business Miracles Money Mindset Training, where I share everything I've gone through to change my own relationship with money from declaring bankruptcy to now being the steward and leader of a million dollar mission. And oh my gosh, wow. What has changed for Celeste over these months as she has committed to addressing the limiting money stories from her family of origin and is now out in the world happily, happily networking up to four times a week, meeting potential clients, setting up selling conversations, and on fire to bring her gift to more and more people while allowing herself to be paid for her service. Write that down, allowing herself to be paid for her service. So what does being an HSE actually mean to you? Let me share with you that first it means nothing is wrong with you. Write that down. Next, your nervous system is simply wired differently. You were born this way. According to Dr. Aaron, 20% of the global population is born into the world highly sensitive. The thing is, most of us have unconsciously learned to operate not only from our HSE coping mechanism, but from our HSE shadows rather than strengths. Write that down. Three of the top HSE shadows, one, overwhelm, to be overpowered by thoughts, feelings, or energies, two, overprotection, to protect someone or something more than is necessary or reasonable, three, overresponsibility, to respond to something or someone too strongly. These HSE shadows trigger us into our coping mechanism, which most highly sensitives are operating from most of the time. It might show up for you in the form of not really knowing how to talk about what you do, or your head goes funny when asked a lot of questions, or the energy of a networking event or business conference is overwhelming, leaving you exhausted, spending more time in your hotel room than connecting with people, and feeling like you've just been flooded with everyone's anxiety. Or maybe for you, it's that you have a lot of visionary ideas for your business, but can't quite seem to finish them or even start them. Or all the other people in your life, kids, spouse, parents, friends, pets, need so much from you 
that at the end of the day, not a lot has gotten done in your business. Or you take on so many unpaid leadership positions, there isn't time left to really market your own business in the way that you need to. Or it just takes so much to drive projects across the finish line, plus take care of family, that what little time and energy is left is spent just recuperating so you can start it all over again. Which is why one of the core foundation trainings I share is about how to manage your energy consistently as an HSE so that your experience is no longer that the world is happening to you. But instead, you learn how to proactively create everything in your day, your business, your life. This is you learning how to access and use one of your top HSE strengths creativity, all to support you with experiencing true, peaceful prosperity. Write that down. And this is everything that the great body of work I've created and continue to create is designed to teach you, starting with the teachings that make up the HSE Foundation Mentoring Program, which is why, as HSEs, it's not so much about what you do, but the way you do it. Write that down. And why the around-the-globe HSEs I've mentored have included real estate brokers, coaches, all kinds, dentists, education specialists, therapists, skincare product creators, musicians, dancers, accountants, corporate strategists, massage therapists, acupuncturists, insurance brokers, copywriters, ghostwriters, animal healers, essential oil distributors, math tutors, professional organizers, equine experts, energy healers, writers, yoga studio owners, videographers, jewelry designers, professional speakers, naturopaths, architects, environmental engineers, photo organizers, interior designers, personal stylists, personal trainers, web designers, Reiki practitioners, multimedia artists, channelers, clothing designers, opera singers, and even more. Business Miracles Mentoring works for every HSE in every industry. If you have a sense you're meant to be among them, then I want to talk to you about a process that is imperative for us HSEs when it comes to making significant decisions. Write that down. First, when it comes to making a significant decision and you find yourself feeling stuck, confused, or not sure what to do, the truth is you actually do already know what to do. The decision has been made. Your highly sensitive nervous system may be trying to hijack you from accessing that part of you that knows. But the truth is it's not about figuring out how to make the decision. Write that down. It's about calming your nervous system so you can access the part of your heart brain where the decision has already been made. That's right. I've mentored hundreds of HSEs through significant decisions, so I've seen how this works for those of us who are highly sensitive. When you can calm your nervous system, you find the answer waiting peacefully inside of you. It's been there the whole time. Now, this is one of the golden keys as we continue with this important teleclass about peaceful prosperity and how to make more money using your HSE strength. And as I open the doors to the brand new HSE Foundation program and share with you how this powerful program is your doorway to a new community, a new set of HSE skills, and crafting a life of peaceful prosperity. We will need to begin by deciding. And the ability to make key decisions as an HSE with peace is also your direct path to more prosperity. Write that down. The answers to life's big opportunities, you know, those moments when everything has the potential to change for the better, come from a deep place within your heart. But here's the thing. You've probably been taught to ignore this part of your HSE essential self. 
but you can learn to access it. And it will always lead you to your ideal business, life, and the reward of answering your calling. Here are the steps to making a significant decision as an HSE. Step one, go inward. So right now, I invite you to take a moment, place your hand on your heart, put down whatever you're writing with, and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and let it out and sink into your heart. Eyes still closed. Step two, keeping your hand on your heart. Bring to the center of your mind's eye a moment in your life that was an experience of deep peace. Go with the first thing that comes to mind for you. It might be a moment with a hot cup of tea on a quiet morning, a beautiful walk you took, or working on a project or being with someone that you loved. Step three, eyes still closed, hand still on heart, breath deep. Feel the moment of deep peace that was shown to you. Feel it in your body. Locate where it resonates. Is it in your core center, your heart, your gut? Don't force it or change it. Just be with it. Step four. Now, as you focus on this deep peace, imagine a light appearing in the center of your heart. See it increasing in size and brightness as you relax. Step five, vividly imagine yourself making a significant decision. If your decision is about joining Business Miracles Mentoring, I'll guide you through that part of the process. As you imagine yourself making a significant decision, watch to see whether the light you are radiating in your heart grows or shrinks, gets brighter or dimmer or changes color. Now imagine, imagine joining with me, the skillfully trained by me Business Miracles coach team and our entire aligned community of HSEs for trainings designed specifically to teach you how to use your highly sensitive nature as assets to grow your business and improve your life. Also imagine live weekly coaching and live monthly mentoring to support you with staying accountable and consistent with taking step-by-step action as you step into designing the divine right business model for you as a highly sensitive. All while obstacles that you've encountered your entire life as a highly sensitive begin to disintegrate right before your eyes. Imagine connecting consistently with other HSEs who are also intuitive, empathic, and deeply caring, and who have committed to answering their calling as a service-based entrepreneur and are here to support you in doing the same. Imagine receiving and learning to use impactful yet simple-to-implement tools that have specifically been designed to support highly sensitives with learning how to manage yourself and your nervous system and the day-to-day operations of your business, including how to market and sell as an HSE without stress or pressure. Tools that will massively change your life for the better and then therefore those who you serve as well, not to mention the loved ones in your life. Imagine after seven months of this transformational process with a set of new tools, teachings, and trainings, how you'll approach your business and the world differently from a place of strength as you are truly purposeful, profitable, and empowered, all with a deeper sense of inner peace. As you allow yourself to imagine this future more and more vividly, the light in your heart will shift depending on the decision your HSE essential self has already made. 
If your essential self feels called to move forward, the images or colors or simply the vibration will be bright, beautiful, and your heart will be beating faster with that perfect positive anticipation combination of nervousness and excitement. If they seem dim or even dark, your HSE essential self has already chosen to go another way. How is your heart lighting up for you? Now please allow your eyes to slowly open. Allow your hand to drift down from your heart, back into your lap, picking up whatever you've been writing with, and begin to reorient yourself to your physical environment. And together, let's take a deep breath in and let it out. As I shared, this is a valuable approach to significant decisions for us HSEs and will lead you to clarity every time. And if your heart has already begun to light up, then I invite you to stay with me as we continue this class and as I share with you why conventional marketing and selling won't work for you long term, why traditional time management and productivity tools just don't really work for us as HSEs, how to turn information into implementation so that you're no longer stuck in learning only mode, and most importantly, the three key elements that are necessary for HSE financial success. Now, the next part of this class is about physically seeing what we need as HSEs for optimal learning and optimal implementing. Let's write that down. Optimal learning and optimal implementing. In order to physically see this, you'll need to go with me to www.hsetrainingprogram.com. Write this down. That's www.hsetrainingprogram.com. That's H-S-E-T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G-P-R-O-G-R-A-M.com. When you get to the web page, you'll see text at the top that says, click here for a quick program at a glance. So go ahead and click that. And again, we're at hsetrainingprogram.com. Now that you see the info in front of you, let me walk you through this. And my recommendation is that you stay with me and don't scroll ahead. Otherwise, you're perpetuating the HSE shadow of overwhelm. So first is optimal learning. For optimal learning, we start with the orientation training component. Write that down, orientation training component. Because being successful as an HSE requires learning how to do things differently, it's important that we begin with an orientation, an orientation to A, how the Business Miracles online campus can best serve you without overwhelming you, B, what being an HSE means for you specifically. C, how to begin working with this unique aspect of your nature most effectively to support your ability to ultimately be at peace with making more money from your HSE strengths. We do this with a carefully curated curriculum specifically designed for the HSE. You've never received business training like this before. We are the Harvard for HSEs. Write that down. Now, for approximately the first month, each easily digestible orientation training is delivered to you via weekly downloadable audio recordings, transcripts, and assignments accompanied by a completion tracking sheet all to serve you whether you are an auditory, visual, or kinesthetic learner. Write that down. The orientation topics are online campus tour led by our member care manager, so you can ask questions and immediately be supported. 
Next, how coping keeps you captive. Then, nervous system and mindset management. Planning for aligned productivity as an HSE. Then we have planning for monthly income increase. Write that down. Releasing resistance comparison, otherwise known as the HSE, I'm not enough syndrome. And let me pause here for a moment because I want to talk about Mayumi. Mayumi, who is an HSE accountant and also Japanese, with English as her second language, she had taken many programs before receiving HSE mentoring, and she has been able to thrive here because of the thorough way we structure programming, including orientation, to be able to serve your HSE needs. We don't just throw a bunch of information at you and let you try to figure it out. And as a result, Mayumi's income continues to increase. And this past year, she surpassed her income goal of 700000 Now, what do you want to be creating with this type of thorough, optimal learning support? From there, we flow into the foundation training component. After your orientation component is complete, you shift into the foundation trainings component which is every other week. We structure the program this way to support you even if you think you don't have the time for a life-changing program like this. The foundation training topics are miracle marketing. This is a new approach to marketing designed for those of us who are highly sensitive. You aren't meant to market and sell in a way that overstimulates your nervous system. Write that down. Instead, I teach you a specifically designed system that feels like a spiritual experience. This is the feedback you'll get from your prospects because I've heard this so many times from the HSEs I mentor. What would that be like for you? Next topic, creation pathway. This proprietary process moves you out of the I can'ts we so easily bump up against as HSEs and into aligned action. Write that down. Next, we have client attraction plan. Attract clients instantly, part one. Magnitude versus littleness. This is a motivational training that will literally change you at a cellular level. Attract clients instantly, parts two and three. HSE Selling Success System, Parts 1 through 3. HSE Selling Success System Tools, so you're equipped to begin selling in a new way right away. And Advanced Marketing Mindset. Even if you've received previous training on how to market and sell, you haven't received training on how to as an HSE. Next is our in-person training retreat component. Write that down. This is a supportive, immersive, gently transformative in-person learning experience located in a natural environment and sunlit training room. This component solidifies your learning integration. Solidifies your learning integration. Write that down. You can see the page in front of you, Monica's experience of training retreats and actually how attending has increased the health of her marriage as well as her business. If you think that your loved ones won't support you in this type of program, I have seen more relationships saved and healed through Business Miracles mentoring than I can truly count. HSEs travel from all across the globe to attend. Iceland, Africa, Asia, France, United Kingdom, Spain, Canada, Hawaii, Saudi Arabia, Denmark, Ireland, Chile, and more. I could go on and on. However, to preserve the sacredness of this transformational experience, attendees must be enrolled in a Business Miracles program. So please don't ask if you can attend the retreat only. Now, I teach new material at every training retreat. Write that down. Now, as HSEs, we love to learn, read, and study, 
So next we have for you personalized study component. Write that down. If at any time throughout your foundation training process you need immediate personalized business support, additional resources are instantly available to you along with real-time mentoring from myself and coaching support from the skillfully trained Business Miracles coach team for HSEs. You'll find resources immediately waiting for you the moment you enroll today. If you choose, you can get started right away with marketing, selling, up-leveling, both personally and for your business. These resources provide you with support, such as why typical time management tools don't work for us, and instead how you want to begin to have more of a relational connection to aspects like time, scheduling, and overall business operations. For example, my day typically doesn't start until after 11 a.m. because that's what works for my circadian rhythm. What would an ideal day be like for you? Again, these resources are immediately available to you the instant you enroll. And we're at hsetrainingprogram.com. So we've talked about optimal learning, and now we need to talk about optimal implementing. Because if you aren't taking action as an HSE, then you aren't in business. Write that down. Here's how we structure the HSE Foundation Program for optimal implementing. One, forum support. On a special network, real-time e-coaching from myself and the coach team, and a wise community of aligned HSE support. Two, Core practice consistency calls, extremely valuable weekly group coaching calls. You'll tap into your HSE strength and ability to learn without realizing you're learning when you participate in these calls. This creates massive acceleration. We also provide a CPC call takeaway system to use on the forum immediately after each call so you are accountable for implementing what you received from the call. Business Miracles member Chelsea is excellent at using CPC calls and our CPC call takeaway system for supporting herself with staying focused and on track week to week. And as a result, not only has she negotiated a 50% income increase as an HSE musician and is now generating six figures, but she has also had some deep realizations regarding relationship patterns and has experienced some beautiful healing personally. Three, community-wide core practice consistency calls, personally led by me each month, providing you the opportunity to receive high-level HSE mentoring and to learn from a wider community of HSEs. Four, get it done day. An entire live real-time virtual training day led by me where you are supported in getting a major project in your business done. This busts the myth that HSEs can't follow through on project completion or without it taking a really long time or a lot of energy. Now, three last important notes. Number one. There are three key elements that are necessary in the retraining and transformational process we must undergo as HSEs that are guaranteed to create your HSE financial success. All three are woven throughout the entire curriculum and container structure of the HSE Foundation Training Program, and they are, you'll want to write these down, community, core practice, consistency. Important note number two, I am a teacher by training and by soul calling. I was literally teaching class during playtime in nursery school. I'm 100% serious, 100%. And I've been teaching in some capacity ever since. 
My coach team is comprised of former traditional teachers from homeschool through college level. Dr. Aaron is a researcher who we owe deep gratitude to for bringing the what of highly sensitive needs to the mainstream. I am a teacher and my work provides the how of daily, practical, doable implementation of the research, specifically for those of us who are called to be self-employed. Important note number three, according to life coaching mother Martha Beck, we all have to heal trauma, and trauma doesn't heal in a state of isolation. Love is what dissolves the barrier. As HSEs, we thrive in aligned community. Listen to your heart. I so look forward to beginning our mentoring relationship and to you learning how to finally, truly take aligned action by stepping into your sensitive strengths so that you are consistently experiencing both peace and prosperity. Take a deep breath in and let it out. It and has that. been truly my honor to share this New Year class with you. I wish you the happiest of decades. And what I truly wish for you and each of us HSEs is a full sense of empowerment and purpose and profitability as we step forward sharing the truly, truly remarkable gifts that each one of us as highly sensitives is here to bring to the world as royal advisors that we are through each of our individual service-based businesses. We are here to serve you as a Business Miracles team and to provide you with everything you need to be able to answer your calling and fulfill who you are here to be in the world as a highly sensitive entrepreneur. Other than that, this is Heather leaving you with many, many blessings for the rest of the day, the week, into the weekend, and until our next Business Miracles connection. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Course in Business Miracles. If you're ready to learn how to use your highly sensitive abilities to support you in being purposeful, profitable, and empowered rather than scattered, poor, and undervalued, take my free self quiz to find out if you are indeed a highly sensitive entrepreneur. And if you are, along with your quiz results, you'll receive my free HSE success guide, which will teach you how to have your highly sensitive abilities working for you to create the results you desire in your business. Take the quiz and receive your free success guide now at www.hsequiz.com.